that as we get closer to Election Day and learn more about Hillary Clinton's corruption, people here in Utah are nervous about Hillary Clinton becoming the next president. They don't like Donald Trump either. And so it's very volatile. And that's why you saw my climbing in the polls very quickly. And you see a lot of movement, a lot of fluctuation. We've just got to keep fighting until November 8th. And that's what we're doing, carrying our message across the country. We're the only, or across the state, especially now in, in these final days. But we're the only campaign that has a ground game in Utah. We've got a lot of momentum, and we, we know that other polls are coming out that will show a much closer race. That may be true, but Rasmussen has Trump at 42 now in Utah, Clinton 31, and you at 21. I wonder if the Mike Pence message of Republicans coming home at a time when he is gaining more national support is resonating. Well, I do think, as I said, people are nervous about Hillary Clinton every time they see a new scandal about her corruption. So I do think something is happening there. But I, I think this race is far from settled. Again, other polls will come out soon showing a much closer race. Uh, but I, in, in Mike Pence's argument that Republicans should come home, you know, I think that, that may have resonated for some, but a lot of people, I think it pushes them farther away. I mean, the reality is that people want to come home. You know, I was with the Republican Party for a long time, too. But the truth is that Donald Trump doesn't represent our values. He doesn't re represent conservative and timeless American principles. He is severely lacking in character. He's going to be up on child rape charges in December. I mean, this is not somebody who people want to stand with here. So the race is still very volatile. We're going to fight to the end. We've got a lot of momentum. And again, we're the only people, the only race in this campaign in, in Utah with the ground game. And just review your strategy for those that don't know. You, you've always been harnessing these Utah votes, especially among the Mormon community. I think you've been saying that your goal is to get a tie and neither candidate to get to the 270 electoral votes. But then it would go to Congress, and it would look likely that if the Republicans are in control, that would hand it to Donald Trump. I don't think that's the case. I mean, our Constitution provides for this system in the case that neither major party candidate, for example, or the no candidate is popular enough to win a majority in the Electoral College. That's what this process is designed for, exactly this situation where you have two, especially major party candidates who are so unpopular. If we get that far, I believe the race will reset. I'm the only true conservative in this race. I share the policy positions and goals of the House Republicans, most of them. Uh, and so I believe that they will side with me, a lot of them. A lot of states will end up siding with me in that scenario. I also believe the Democrats, who won't have the votes to elect Hillary Clinton, will look and they'll say, do we want Donald Trump or Evan McMullen? And so I think actually what could happen is that I would emerge as a consensus pick among both Republicans and Democrats, which I think would be very good for this country. It's Even not a sure thing, but it's worth a fight. I mean, you're only on the ballot, what, in 11 states? and only look competitive in one. Well, the, we're a three-month presidential campaign, and, you know, I had hoped somebody like Mitt Romney would step up and do this months and months ago. When they didn't do it and when he and others didn't do it, I decided that I needed to go ahead and do it. So we've got some constraints on our campaign. We're very transparent about them. But we knew we had a chance, if the race was close, to get in and win a state or two. We don't need to compete in every state across the country. That's not our strategy. Our strategy is to compete in very strongly in a small number uh, and elsewhere in the country. But in terms of winning on November 8th, a small number so that if the race is close, we can block both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and take this thing to the House. It's very difficult, yeah. but given just the, the unfitness of both of these candidates, they're both so awful, would be so terrible for our country, it's worth a shot. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.